Over the years, ranchers have often tried to help the Bureau of Land Management fight wildfires on public lands. After all, it's in their interest to prevent rangelands from burning up and losing vital feed for their livestock. But in recent times, federal policy has prohibited ranchers from fighting fires on public lands for safety and liability reasons. A range fire last year brought things to a flashpoint. We had a fire that uh, came through a lightning strike and started some ground on fire over by the Trails Reservoir. Two ranchers were on that fire and potentially had it controlled or shut down so that to the BLM could get there. They were asked to leave. They did, and that fire that was potentially a five to 15 acre fire grew to a 40,000 acre fire. Ranchers felt the BLM policy was unacceptable. We do make our living off this land, and uh, it was important to us to protect this resource the best that we could. Some of the tactics that the BLM was using, we thought, weren't getting to the issue of stopping the fires at a short duration. In fact, the rangelands near Mountain Home have burned repeatedly almost every year. In the United States, this is the largest. Most fires are here, they burn the most ground. Because of that, it's proactive for us to put something together that addresses the issue of first response. Over the winter of 2012, several Mountain Home ranchers contacted the Idaho Department of Lands and the BLM about working together to stop wildfires. Using a private-public partnership model developed in Oregon, the agencies helped the ranchers form Idaho's first rangeland fire protection association. Idaho code that spoke to timber protective associations, which uh, Idaho has quite a long history of, also addressed rangeland associations as well, but uh, nobody had taken advantage of that up until this time. Extremely excited about it. To form the association, the parties signed agreements to work together, and the ranchers received lots of wildfire training. The ranchers also had to form a nonprofit organization and obtain liability insurance. After completing the training, the ranchers received official firefighting gear, communications equipment, and resources for fighting fires, such as a fire engine from the Idaho Department of Lands. It takes someone that's fairly well motivated. Uh, there's, a, there's a fair amount of work involved. It was bringing all the entities together to end up with a positive situation that addressed everybody's issues. The agreement came together just in time for the ranchers to help the BLM fight the Stout Fire near Mountain Home in July. This was the first fire that we uh, interacted on and uh, incorporated the Rangeland Fire Protection Association into the suppression operation and uh, it went very well. Some of the, the actual firefighting resources um, they provided were dozers, some water tenders, and some fire engines. They actually did a lot of line construction and, 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 and was very beneficial. Then the other part of it is, is the, the local knowledge. I probably logged 10 to 12 hours of a, a rancher being in my command vehicle as we went around and strategized how to put the fire out, where water resources are, uh, access routes, and just developing contingency plans. Uh, we were able to get one rancher up in a helicopter for a recon flight when we were doing the same sort of things, and that proved very valuable. As things turned out, the range fire was contained and controlled at 12,000 acres. It was a good catch considering uh, the conditions and the resources assigned. Still, it was the third time that the rocky foothills north of Mountain Home had burned in the last 10 years. Charlie Lyons laments the loss of his spring range and wildlife habitat. From a ranching standpoint, it knocks the air out of us. We're two years off, the tremendous expense. But from a habitat issue, this is huge. It took the last of that chucker habitat. It's a bigger picture than making a dollar off a cow. It really is for me. Mountain home rancher John McGrew agrees. If we can keep that rangeland productive, it's good for us. And it's good for the game animals. That's my primary concern. It's just a waste of resources to watch it go up in smoke. The Mountain Home Rangeland Fire Protection Association will work on adding more firefighting resources to their arsenal and work together with the Idaho Department of Lands and the BLM to extinguish range fires. It's positive for everybody that's involved. These ranchers are performing a service, yes, for themselves, but also for the rest of the community. It's far reaching than this the fires. 
it's a progressive thing for Idaho. Glazer agrees. It's going to uh, provide a uh, much quicker initial response. It'll get uh, resources out to those fires quicker and allow them to be caught uh, when they're small and manageable. <laughs> Glazer invites ranchers from other parts of southern Idaho to consider forming their own rangeland fire protection association. There's approximately 2.2 million acres of private ground that currently is unprotected in southern Idaho. So there's a real need there. For more information on forming a rangeland fire protection association, contact Glazer at the Idaho Department of Lands.